Notion is a place to think, write, plan, and find the information you need. Bordering the left of the app, the sidebar helps you achieve all this. From there, you can keep your pages clean and organized, but also create and manage team spaces, search for and find pages quickly, and adjust your workspace settings. We'll show you all the tips and tricks to navigate the central part of Notion in a snap, leaving you more time to focus on what matters. First, know that your sidebar can be hidden at all times for better focus by clicking on these arrows pointing to the left. Hiding the sidebar can be really helpful to minimize distractions during focused work. To open your sidebar again, click on the hamburger menu at the top left of your screen. Amongst other things, the sidebar is where you go to access pages. In Notion, those pages can be separated into the following sections, team spaces, shared, and private. When you're sharing a workspace with multiple people, these sections help you organize content by permission level. The Favorite section showcases all the pages you yourself pinned as favorite. This allows you to keep the pages you use on a regular basis top of mind and access them in one click. To mark a page as favorite, just click on their start icon at the top right. Undo this action by hitting the star again, and this will automatically retrieve the page from this section. Team spaces are a home for different teams' important notes, docs, and tasks. In this case, the workspace owner added all Acme members to this general team space by default. Hence, everyone has access to this array of pages that fall within general. What's more, you can host pages inside a Notion page and host more pages inside those pages as well, infinitely. Click on the arrow next to any team space page to see the pages that are nested within them. For context, we refer to the main pages of a team space, the ones that appear with no indent, as top level pages, while all others are deemed sub pages. Click on the plus sign next to a team space's name to add a top level page, and click on the plus sign next to a top level page's name to add a sub page within it. For a more streamlined sidebar, you may click on a team space's name to hide all the pages within them. The Shared section showcases pages that are shared with you or that you yourself have shared with individual people or groups. If you're not a member of the team space where a page is located, said page will show up in the Shared section. Typically, pages in the Shared section are shared with a small number of people. As an example, you could be sharing a page that is work in progress with only two or three close collaborators, like one-to-one -one notes shared with your manager. The private section of the sidebar is for your own usage, like your personal to-do list or brainstorm page. It's where you can go to think, draft out your thoughts, or plan. Those pages can remain private forever, or you can decide to share them with specific individuals, team spaces, or everyone. There are more things you can achieve with the Notion sidebar. For one, search allows you to look for any page in your workspace. When you first open it, you'll find your recent pages here and you can use advanced filters and sorts to find exactly what you're looking for. Updates is where you can stay up to date on everything that's happening in your workspace. This is where you'll be notified when your colleagues mention you on a page or a task, or when someone invites you to view a page. More detail on this on the Reminders and Mentions video. You'll also find an exhaustive list of updates for pages that you're following in the Following tab, updates across the entire workspace in the All tab, and the ones you've archived in Archived. Moving down the sidebar, Settings and Members is where you'll find the tools to customize your Notion experience even further. For example, you can change your account information, notifications and settings, as well as language and region. If you're a workspace owner, you'll be able to alter more decisive aspects of the workspace, such as the domain name, team space settings, workspace members, plans, security, or integrations, as this Notion for Admins video explains in great length. At the bottom of your sidebar, this New Page button opens a pop-up to add a new page to your workspace. You may use one of our templates or click on this Import button to bring in content from tools like Evernote, Asana, Trello, and more. Notion's Trash button acts like kind of an archive where you can view and recover deleted content. You can drag any page into the trash to delete it, but you can also search here to quickly filter the results, use this button to restore a deleted page, or this one to delete it permanently. If for now you're using Notion by yourself, you should be all set. If you're using Notion with a team, the rest of this video will explain how you can navigate, join, and create team spaces. 
Now let's go to All Team Spaces, located towards the top of the sidebar. This is where you can view, as well as find, every existing team space in your Notion workspace. At the top, you'll find a list of the team spaces you've already joined. All other existing team spaces that you haven't joined yet but are allowed to join will appear below. Scroll down to see them all, or use the search bar to look one up. You can use this section to organize and declutter your sidebar. To join a team space, simply hover your mouse over its name, then click on Join. To leave a team space, Click on the three-dot menu next to its name and select Leave Team Space. Back in the sidebar, you'll also notice three-dot menus when you hover over each team space. A drop-down of actions will appear. You may access the team space's settings, add new members if permitted, leave the team space, or archive the team space. If you hover over a page within a team space, you'll also find a three-dot menu. Depending on your level of access to the page, you could be given the option to delete the page, add it to the favorites section, duplicate it, as well as copy the link to the page should you share it with someone else. You can also rename the page from here, or move it to a different team space, or to the private section of your sidebar. Remember that changes to a page will affect everyone who has access to it. Finally, especially if the page is content heavy, you could decide to turn it into a team space of its own by clicking here. On the other hand, you can reorder team spaces freely in your sidebar without having these changes affect the sidebar of your peers. Just drag a page or team space with your mouse and drop it wherever you'd like them to appear. Finally, as a Notion user, you might be a member of more than one workspace. To switch between one workspace and another, simply click on your workspace name and select the one you'd like to access from the dropdown. Should you have another Notion account, you also have the option to add another account here and log out of Notion by clicking Log Out All. Lesson completed. As you now understand, the sidebar is your navigation board to all things Notion. And the more you understand its inner workings, the more time you'll have to focus on the work that matters to you. Thanks for watching.